to fulfill the desire of devotee. But devotee has to understand what is really necessary for them in their life. As much I could understand the meaning of trans this translation. Further, Prabhupada is defining in his purport all the cosmic manifestation that exist on the gross and subtle elements as well as the means of their agitation. The three gunas, the living entity, creation, maintenance, annihilation and everything going on in the external energy of Lord. All this comes from the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Govinda. Everything is within the control of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is also confirmed in Bhagavad Gita. Maya Dhakshena Prakritir Suyate Sacharacharam. Everything in the material nature, Prakriti, works under his control. Because all these manifestations come from Govinda. They could all be visible within the mouth of Govinda. Quite astonishingly, Mother Yashoda was afraid because of intense maternal affection. She could not believe that within the mouth of her son, such things could appear. This is the proof of Sambandha relation. Even Madhya Yashoda is not ordinary human being, But because of the Sambandha, Matritva, Motherly, even she saw so many things in the mouth of God, here the quality of God is not powerful in front of Motherly love. Even after showing this much many things, Mother Yashoda, because of this Sambandha relation with Krishna, deviation is not there. The 
It means when the Sambandha is pragad, intense and deeply condensed, even the things happens between these two Sambandha. The devotee takes it very normally. Why? Because there is love. There is a different connection. Where the forgetfulness of these things are there. That he is God. He is powerful. He has all energy. He is able to do everything. Mero Lala. My son and I am mother. Mero Kanaya. My Kanaya and I am friend. Different kinds of Sambandha like this. My Swamini. My Swami and I am Das. I am Sevaka. I am servant and he is my master. The devotee forgets all these things when the relationship is deep and intense. The same thing happening here with Mother Yashoda. Why? Because of this maternal affection. And she just started thinking that Kanaya is just my son. Something happened wrong with him. She become fearful, like generally a normal mother does. Other hand, this is also the because of the Leela Vista. If this God consciousness come in between, then Leela is not possible. Yet she saw, she could not believe, sorry, she could not believe that within the mouth of her son such things could appear. Very nicely my child was playing just now. What this happened? Why so many different kinds of things are appearing in his mouth? She is thinking like this. Yet she saw them and therefore she was struck with fear and wonder. Text 40. Kim Sopna Etadut Devamaya Kimba Madiobat Buddhi Moha Ato Amushyaeva Mabhark Kasya Ya Kaschanot Patik Atma Yoga Kim Sopna Et Dut Dev Maya Kim Ba Madiyo Bat Muddi Moha Mother Yashoda began to argue with herself. Is this a dream? Or is it an illusory creation by the external energy? Has this been manifested by my own intelligence? I am creating this all what? Or is it some mystic power of my child? She is thinking only the outer outside sources. This happened. Oh, I am dreaming. Some external energy is working with my child, I think. Means she is not ready to believe that really something happened. That my child is a God, he is doing. Although the Gargamuni said at the time of name giving ceremony, 
that your child will have the qualities of Narayan. But Mother Yashoda is not ready to understand this. Now, this Prabhupada purport. When Mother Yashoda saw this wonderful manifestation hmm, within the mouth of her child, she began to argue within herself about whether it was a dream. Then she considered how I can dream because my eyes are open. I am actually, actually seeing what is happening. This I am able to see because I am not sleeping, nor I am dreaming. Then this may be an illusion created by Deva Maya, Yoga Maya. Then she thought that how it is possible, this is also not possible. What business would the demigods have showing such things to me? I have nothing to do with them. They also no need to do so such and such things. So that also is not possible. Then Mother Ishoda considered, she is talking with herself, whether the vision might be due to be bewilderment. I am fit in health. I am not diseased. I am not sick. Why should there be any bewilderment? It is not possible that my brain be arranged. I am not crazy. Because since I am ordinarily quite fit to think, then this reason must be due to some mystic power of my son, as predicted by Gargamuni. Thus, she finally concluded that the reason was due to her son's activities and nothing else. Because my son always doing naughtiness is so naughty that all the time the people around Raja bringing complain about him. And now also someone came that mom, mother, oh mother Yashoda, Kanahiya ate the earth. So he's just using some charm to just to please me. Mother Yashoda thinking like this. Text 41. Atho yathavan vitarka gocharam. Cheto mana karma bacho viranjasa yada shrayam yen yataha pratiyate sudur vibhabhyam pranathasmitat param. Therefore, let me surrender unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Ato yathavan vitarka gocharam. Cheto mana karma bacho viranjasa. And offer my obeisances unto him, who is beyond the conception of human speculation. That's why it is said here that he is the he is beyond the conception conception of human speculation. 
that why it is becomes it becomes important to develop a relationship because more and more going inside to knowing 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 this that with the help of different karma kanda or the upasana kanda or different different kriya yoga tantra mantra this is not possible because it is complete very clear it is beyond the conception conception of human speculation the mind the activities words and arguments who is the original cause of this cosmic manifestation by whom the entire cosmos is maintained and by whom we can conceive of its existence let me simply offer my obeisances for he is beyond my contemplation speculation and meditation he is beyond all of my material activities so this is also very clear the bhakti is not the part of material activities bhakti is the part beyond material activities where the sambandha becomes the only sambandha becomes important the word is now defining in his purport one simply has to realize the greatness of the supreme personality of god him one should not try to understand him by any material means karma kanda tantra marg mantra marg subtle or gross mother yashoda being a simple woman could not find out the real cause of the reason therefore out of maternal affection she simply offered obeisances unto the supreme lord to protect her child like a simple mother she could do nothing but offer obeisances to the lord the meaning of obeisances is to surrender the surrender is totally surrender half surrender and half mind in material that also it is difficult but we are jeeva part and parcel of god sometime because of the long different practices it becomes difficult but it doesn't mean that we are not able to do anything we don't have any chance we have chances we have chance 
and this chance we can achieve just by surrendering ourselves in the lotus feet of the yuga sankar shri sri radha mo it is said achintya khalu ya bhava na tams tarkena yojayet this is said in the bhish parva of the scripture mahabharata अचिंतया खलु ये भव ना तम तर्क न योजय वन शुड नॉट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द सुप्रीम कॉज बाय आर्ग्यूमेंट और रीजन वेन वी आर बेस्ट बाय सम प्रॉब्लम सॉरी वेन वी आर बी सेट by some problem for which we can find no reason there is no alternative than to surrender to the supreme lord and offer him our respectful obeisance then our position will be secure this was the means adopted in this instance also by mother yashoda without further investigation without further information without further arguing she just surrendered she just took shelter tabai asmi tabai vasmi tabai vas sitna dada this morning we did this cross वॉट एवर हैपन्स द ओरिजिनल कॉज इज द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड है सर्व कारण कारणम वी आर बिकॉज ऑफ द मर्सी ऑफ श्रीमती राधा रानी वी आर इन वृंदावन है तू की कृपा वी डिड एंड गिव एनी थिंग टू हर ज्वेलरी मनी और एनी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ वेल्थ बिकॉज दिस इज हर नॉट नेचर our nature is totally different you are not qualified no problem come i am there she is not like krishna checking a b c d till z no this is called ahetuki unconditional mercy but the thing many of us are totally forget this mercy and when we forget then trouble starts in our life when the immediate cause cannot be ascertained let us simply offer our obeisances at the lotus feet of the lord same become like a child unqualified a small child who is not knowing anything 
after coming in this world. What knowing only crying, this child is knowing. I mean, this child cries there. Mother, listen. And it is not possible for a mother when a child cry. Doesn't matter how important work she is doing. She runs for her child. Here the meaning of child that we have to become pure. We have to try to become pure. Why I am saying trying? Because our practices, again I am saying our practice is totally different. When we increase spiritual practice, this practice of this developing relationship, practicing of developing love and affection, practice to develop the loving affection, then these are our crying. No one is mine except you. Everything is there but missing. You are not there, then nothing is there. If you are there, everything is there. But everything is there and you are not there means nothing is there. Mother Yashoda concluded that the wonderful things she saw within the mouth of her child were due to him. Although she could not clearly ascertain the cause. Therefore, when a devotee cannot ascertain the cause of suffering, he concludes Tate nu kampan susamaki kasamano bhunjana evatma kritam vipakam vidavakvapurabhir vidhadhan namaste jiveta yumukti padesa dayabak Bhagavatam, 10th Kanto. It will come in the next chapter 40. Verse number 8. The devotee accepts that it is due to his own past misdeeds, results of karma. That the Supreme Personality of Godhead has caused him some small amount of suffering. Actually, in this material world, suffering, there is nothing called suffering. And it is made it clear over here. Whatever is happening, is happening because of our past karmas. Thus he offers obeisances to the Lord again and again. Sharanagat Pahimam Such a devotee is called Mukti Pade Sa Dayabhak. That is, he is guaranteed his liberation from this material world. But sometimes this word liberation becomes contradictory. Contradictory in the sense, when someone thinks, I was reading, 
some things of that I've forgotten now in which book. This line came. That if you think about liberation, then you forget that any kind of nectar will you will receive on the path what you are practicing. Liberation in the sense that you want to become Tattvamasi, Sohamasmi, then it becomes Mayava. The word in the Vaishnavism, liberation becomes Mayava. Devotee always wants to become Das, Dasi, Radha Dasi in the service in the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika. No liberation is existing there. I am not uh, means saying anything that Prabhupada is a thousand times more than like my symbol, but one place what I read this word liberation has become the it brings the dirt among this uh, loving relationship. Sambandha. You want to become liberate, then where is Sambandha? You are thinking about yourself. A premier a lover thinks about the lover. How my lover my Swami, a servant, thinks that how I can please my Swami, my master. How I can please my Swami, where there is no liberation. Talking of liberation is there. So this word liberation becomes contradictory sometimes. Here I am not telling, but just I am my humble obedience in the feet of Prabhupada. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, Matra asparsutu kontea shitosna sukh dukha da agamapaino nityas tams titikshava bharata. We should know that material suffering due to the material body will come and go. Nothing is permanent. Or the material existence, there is nothing that is permanent. This body leave, will come again in different form as per the karma. Therefore, we must tolerate the suffering and proceed with discharging our duty as ordered by our spiritual master. Yasya Prasada, Bhagavad Prasada, Yasya Prasada, Nagati Kutosku, Dhyansu Vansasya, Yasya Strasandham, Mande Gurosi, Saranar. It doesn't matter how much we are. On material level, that is called suffering, is real, not suffering, is the just return of our past karma. That on the material level, on material consciousness, we say it, this is suffering. Actually, this is not suffering. So, in this case, we always follow the instruction of our spiritual master. Just tolerating everything. Tolerate and just do your bhajan. Let the things come and go because if this is the nature of material exchange, the things will come and go. No permanency. Text 42. Aham mamaso patire sume suto brajeshwaras kya kilvitta 
गोप्यश्च गोपा स गोधनाश्च में ये नमा ये थम कुमति ही समय मति ही इट इज बाय द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड्स माया दट आई एम रॉन्गली थिंकिंग दट नंद महाराज इज माई हजबेंड दट कृष्णा इज माई सन एंड दैट बिकॉज आई एम द क्वीन ऑफ नंद महाराज ऑल द वेल्थ ऑफ काउज एंड काउ आर माई पोजेशन एंड ऑल द काउर्ड मेन एंड देयर वाइफ आर माई सब्जेक्ट द सेम थिंग वी आर ऑल्सो डूइंग हियर दिस बिलोंग्स टू मी दिस बिलोंग्स टू मी दिस इज माइंड दिस इज माइंड this is mine who knows how many times we became where different places we gone and what we became sometime in animal sometime in birds how many times we came and go coming and going and this continuing me still today coming and going this traffic this transport is continuing पर मदर यशोदा थिंकिंग लाइक दिस सिंग एक्चुअली आई एम द इटर्न इज सब ऑर्डिनेट टू द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड राधा दासी दिस इज हियर वट और मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम गुरुदेव इज टॉकिंग इटर्न इज सब ऑर्डिनेट means the service in your swarup we are all eternally subordinate radha dasi and radha rani is our ultimate shelter actually we no need to go elsewhere we no need to see any here and there we no need to jump all the time today didn't feel good then gone to check something else oh there you didn't feel good then you again move somewhere to check something and it's all happening that we are not surrender in the dasi mood after realizing after understanding that what is my swarup we didn't took shelter the main problem in our life following in the first four steps of mother yashoda everyone should follow this mentality of renunciation whatever wealth opulence or whatever else we may possess belongs not to us but to the supreme personality of godhead this is parakia see everywhere here there up down pralad maharaj did the same hiranika shukla is very in this in this pillar pralad maharaj said ha even in you he said to hiranyakashipu oh my dear father he is even inside you then like in this pillar also yes he is there also 
When you call, I break this pillar, let me see that he is coming from there. Well, yeah, he is there. This was the Dridata. Pradhan Maharaj holding very firmly, very strongly. This belief doesn't matter what happening. He was not concerned about his this material body. Because the Sammandha was there, he was knowing that my Lord is able to do anything because he is present everywhere. He is the only Vishwas, Akhand Vishwas, undisturbed, undisturbed faith. Whatever wealth, opulence, or whatever else we may possess belongs not to us, but to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is the ultimate shelter of everyone and the ultimate owner of everything. If really our sight, our reason become like this, where we will see that he is not there. This is the main important thing that we, reason change, then many things change. As is stated by the Lord Himself in Bhagavad Gita, Bhoktaram Yagya Tapasam Sarva Loka Maheshwaram Suhradam Sarva Bhutanam Gyatva Mam Santim Chati. The sage, knowing me as the ultimate purpose of all sacrifices and the austerities, the Supreme Lord of all planets and demigods and the benef benefactor and well wisher of all living entities attain peace from the pangs of material miseries. We should not be proud of our possession. I am this. You don't know me? Who am I? Who are you? You know me? Like this. This possession. This proudness. False ego. As expressed by Mother Yashoda hearing, I am not the owner of possessions. I am not the master of the things that I belong. This is totally false. The opponent wife of Nanda Maharaja. No, I don't have this kind of route. Mother Yashoda is saying this. The estate, the possessions, the cows and calves and the subjects like the gopis and cowherd men are all given to me. It is given to me, not mine. It is given to me, it is not mine. It is given to me, it is not mine. Mother Eshwada is saying this. One should give up thinking of my possessions, my son, my husband, Janasyamohoyam Aham Mameti. Nothing belongs to anyone but the Supreme Lord. Only because of illusion do we wrongly think I am existing. Or everything belongs to me. 
Thus, Mother Yashoda completely surrendered unto the Supreme Lord. For the moment, she was rather disappointed, thinking my endeavors to protect my son by charity and other auspicious activities are useless. She become now fearful. Oh, what should I do? That this uh, ghost type or the, this type of magic should go out of my child. What I saw inside his mouth. So she is thinking what to protect her son. So it is saying my endeavors to protect my son by charity to give something to someone. And other auspicious activities are useless. The Supreme Lord has given me many things. But unless he takes charge of everything, there is no assurance of protection. I must therefore ultimately Seek shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. As is stated by Prahlad Maharaj in Srimad Bhagavatam. Balasya neha saranam pitaro nirsimmaha A father and mother cannot ultimately take care of their children. Ato griha kshetra sutapta vittair janasya moho yam aham mameti. Ato griha kshetra sutapta vittair janasya moho yam aham mameti. All these things, this house, this area, this wealth, I have so many people. Moho yam aham. This moha, this attachment, and aham, this proudness, ahamkara, ego. This comes when we say, This is mine, this is mine, this is mine, this is mine. I am the master, this belongs to me, this belongs to me. Once land, home, wealth, and all of one's possessions belongs to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Although we wrongly think I am this and these things are mine. I am something. No, no. I am the king of this place, I am the superintendent of police, officer, I am the chancellor of some place, I am the chief minister, I am the prime minister, always changing, not forever, just for a short time, for five years, I am something. And after leaving this place, they become bhut, in Hindi it is bhut kaal. Past. They become past. This they don't know. That one day I will become past. Past means people will forget me. No one will remind, remain, remind me that I was something. When I will go somewhere, oh yeah, you were there that time. Ah, okay. How are you? Good, okay. No salute. Yes, sir. Come, no chair. Come, come. Oh, he came. Bodyguards, car. Just for a few years. Within this life, I'm not talking about life and life and life. And the meaning actually of Bhut in Hindi is ghost. Means you gone. 
you are no more here. Now we are wandering somewhere in illusionary. I think this is uh, almost well, 15. Okay. So thank you very much. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Nanavat, Nanavat, Speed of All, Vaishnavas, Nanavat, Nanavat, Speed of Suragudeva, Bhagavan. Nandavati the Lotus Wheel of all glorified my senior devotees, Acharyas, senior brothers and sisters, all I am this modest one. Thank you very much to be here to listen to some of my words that by the mercy of Sri Gurudev came in my mind that I spoken. If anywhere, if I said something wrong, please forgive me. I will try to make myself by your mercy, by your blessing, more and more, more and more little useful for all this spiritual world to be among all of your duty. Jai Jai Sri Radhe Jai Jai Sri Radhe Jai Jai Sri Radhe Vithai Gaur Primanande Hari Om. Mm-hmm.